This is a breaking news story and will be updated with more information. A shooting near the end of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl rally at Union Station has left 22 victims injured, and one dead. Shots were fired at the end of the Kansas City Chiefs 2024 Super Bowl rally, west of Union Station near the garage, according to initial police reports. Police had detained three people by Wednesday afternoon. Two were detained quickly after the shooting. A third was detained based on video footage, Kansas City Police Chief Stacy Graves said at a news conference late Wednesday afternoon. While we were not expecting it, we were ready. Kansas City Fire Department Interim Chief Ross Grundison said of KCFD's response to the shooting. KCFD reported 22 gunshot victims, 8 with injuries Grundison described as immediately life-threatening, 7 with life-threatening injuries and 6 with minor injuries. Graves said officers were working to identify the deceased victim, and other victims, to notify their loved ones. On Wednesday evening, the death of Lisa Lopez Galvin, a local radio DJ and mother of two, was confirmed on Facebook by the community radio station KKFI 90.1, where Lopez hosted the weekly program Taste of Tejano. The Kansas City Star reported Wednesday that Lopez Galvin, who lived in Shawnee, Kansas, died at a hospital during surgery to treat a gunshot wound to her abdomen. She was the most wonderful, beautiful person, a longtime friend of Lopez Galvin told the star. She did everybody's weddings, we all know her, she was so full of life. Children's Mercy Hospital confirmed it had received 12 patients from the rally, 11 children, 9 with gunshot wounds. The ages of the pediatric patients were between 6 to 15. Stephanie Meyer, the hospital's senior vice president of nursing, said all of the children are expected to make full recoveries. None of the patients were in critical condition. University Health received 12 patients from the rally. Eight were gunshot victims, two of whom were in critical condition. Four were non-gunshot victims. St. Luke's Hospital had four patients from the rally. One was a gunshot victim in critical condition, and three were walk-in patients with non-life-threatening, non-gunshot injuries. No information was immediately available about the location or status of four additional gunshot victims referenced by Grundison. Other than people who were injured by gunfire, there are going to be a lot more people who are forever impacted by what happened today, Graves said. Graves said police did not yet have a motive for the shooting. She said KCPD was setting up a phone number for victims, witnesses or people who had any information about what happened. We continue to receive information minute by minute, Graves said. She was angered by what happened, Graves said. But I want you to know that the KCMO Police Department and all the officers that were there today that were serving and protecting. 